guys and welcome to this Bucharest Romania apartment tour so if you're new to my channel my name is Lana and I travel with my partner Carlos and we've been traveling we've been slow traveling for about a year now but we've actually been traveling for two years the apartment that we're staying in is an Airbnb we find Airbnb to be really easy to book with on the go because it means that power internet and water is usually all included in the price so yeah, I really wanted to show you guys around our apartment today and let's go! So as you first walk into the apartment, you'll come straight through to the kitchen and the kitchen's really nice and it's quite simple and spacious and the first thing you'll notice is the fridge we've got pretty much everything you need, sink, stove, cupboards and this Airbnb is really good because it includes things like knives, chopping board, plates, cutlery. We cook a lot of meals at home so we usually like to get an Airbnb that has all of these essentials. The washing machine is in the kitchen too but it's kind of hidden so it's over here which is actually quite nice because then it perfectly hides away right there. And there's a dishwasher which is also hidden but we don't use this at all. It's nice and clean, tucked away there too. I really like the kitchen because it's got quite a nice, clean, simple look to it. All the storage up here really helps because you can just pack things away and it makes the whole space look really tidy. And next we go into the living room. So this is the couch and it actually folds out into a sofa bed, which is really nice, especially if you have guests. Uh, we didn't have guests, but it was cool to just watch Netflix from. And then we have this gigantic TV, which is actually the biggest TV I think we've ever had at any of our Airbnbs. So this was really cool. We definitely made the most of that. And we actually have quite an interesting view from our window. As you can see, there's all these buildings which have like a communist era sort of vibe to them and this is pretty much what all of Bucharest looks like as you walk around you'll find that all of the buildings look like this and it's really quite cool even the other day we had some people down here doing like a little traditional performance which is not weird to see at all we've seen that quite a few times since we've been in Bucharest it actually snowed for the first time here in Bucharest for winter and I got so excited because that's my first time ever seeing the snow but then it only snowed for like 10 minutes so I wanted to show you guys today but unfortunately it stopped so maybe fingers crossed in my next video it will be snowing our table actually pulls out so you can pull out either side and make it really big if you want to or you can tuck both sides in and make it small but I've actually been putting the table in our bedroom because I do my English teaching from it so but yeah it's a really cool table and it's even got wheels down the bottom so you can move it across the room really easily the room is really a perfect size so this is where I would be doing my English teaching from and again we've got another nice window view overlooking the same buildings that I just showed you guys so um, I've got the window shut so you can't really see this is our lovely little simple bathroom hello <laughs> so we've got a basin and a sink shower toilet it's actually got three water outlets so it's got this rainfall shower head and a normal shower head and then it's got two jets which in the pictures well it looked like a really cool idea but actually the water pressure isn't extremely strong so using the water jets on the side didn't work too well but it's still a good shower and it does the trick so that's all we need So that was our apartment, it's small as you can see but it's not too small, it definitely was enough space for two people. I would say if you had more than two people it would be a little bit squishy, but for us it was perfect. The total price for the month was 900 US dollars, but I did look on Airbnb and depending what time of the year that you book it can be up to $1000 a month, or if it's in the peak of winter it can be as low as about $800 for the month. So yeah, it really depends what time of the year that you book this apartment, but overall I think it was worth the cost. The apartment itself has everything you would need for a long stay and 
yeah, it's simple, it's clean, and it's efficient. The location of the apartment is really good as well. So a two minute walk away, we've got two mini markets, you've also got the bus stop right at your door, the tram stop, and then a 10 minute walk away is the metro. And if you were keen enough, it's only 30 minutes to walk to the city centre to see all of the main attractions. And there's even a mall up the road from us which is 10 minutes walk away. So we've definitely never had any problems here with having to find shops. A lot of the shops are open late in Bucharest unless it's a holiday like Christmas or New Year's. If you are looking for something a little more affordable than this in Bucharest, then you can get apartments in the price range from about six to 900 US dollars per month. And we found this out because we were looking for about a week before we decided on this apartment. And we were kind of torn between two at the time. One was about 750 US dollars, but it definitely didn't look as comfortable as this one. And seeing as we work online and we spend a lot of time at home during the week, it seemed to be worth it for us to spend the extra $150 on our comfort. So Wi-Fi here in Romania has been really good. They're actually known for having some of the fastest internet speeds in all of Europe. So I'll just do a quick speed test to show you exactly what I mean. So yeah, the download is 159 Mbps and the upload is 302 Mbps. Yeah, I really don't think it gets much better than that. That is actually the fastest internet speeds we've had in like ever, ever. <laughs> it's so fast. As for heating and aircon, the apartment has both. We actually haven't used either of them because even though it is winter here and it's the end of December right now, we haven't touched our heaters at all because inside the apartment it's actually really warm. They have such good insulation that we can leave the apartment and come back and it will still be warm when we come back after a whole day of exploring. If you are coming to Bucharest and you are interested in renting out this apartment, I can leave the link in the description. And also I'll leave a little discount link down there which actually gives you, I think, about 46 US dollars off your next day. So definitely give that a look. And if you wanted to see more of my travels here in Romania, then make sure to click on my playlist above.